Hey everyone, welcome to my blog. Today I'll be taking you along with me to the best international market here in Fairfield, which is right next to Cincinnati, Ohio, for UC students to visit. And I'll be comparing it to what an average market here looks like in Cincinnati and how they're similar and how they're different. Part of the reason why Jungle Gyms is so unique is the literal jungle theme that they have in the store, as you can see from the awesome decorations, both inside and outside. This is one of many reasons why people from all over Ohio come just to visit Jungle Gyms and see the store in person because it really is so much fun. So like I said, this is an international market, but they do start with the American section right in the front. And yes, that is a giant can of soup on a swing. And the American section, you can find classic things like sweets, cereals, and snacks that are common in a typical American household. But let's get to the fun stuff, and that's the international section, starting with the cheeses. As you can see, they're divided by every country with an array of selections that are really delicious, and they have a deli selection as well. And what's better to go with cheese than to have some wine with it? Jungle Gems has an enormous wine, liquor, and beer section, which is a really amazing selection if you like to drink. They even have some non-alcoholic options, as you can see. And here in the internationals, they have New Zealand, Australia, Germany, even Portugal. Now getting to one of the cutest part of the stores is the candy section. It's decorated really fun for all the kids and adults too, and there's even singing animals. Yes, you're seeing that correctly. It is really creative. And later in the video, we'll even see some international candies as well. Next, we're gonna look at Jungle Jim's Bakery, which is under a ginormous cake, and they offer all sorts of baked goods here, such as cakes, cookies, donuts, cannolis, macaroons. They can even make you a wedding cake for your wedding and they offer cooking classes as well, which is really great. And of course, during the holiday season, giant gingerbread houses. Moving out of the sweet section, we're going into the meat aisle, which is probably one of the most unique parts of the entire store because as you can see from this sign, they have a lot of different options that you definitely wouldn't find in a typical American grocery market. Here you can see some antelope, some alligator, and even ostrich. And while the meat section is probably one of the most unique parts of the store, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful parts of the store is the fruits and vegetables section because of all the colors and all of the different selections. It is really big. And of course, as you're shopping for fruits and vegetables, there will be a giant boat in the middle of the store that have a few of our favorite cereal brands in America singing for you on top. And here are some of the fruits that come from different countries that are imported. And they even do have raw sugar cane that you can buy. Next to the fruits and vegetables section, you'll find the seafood section, which is really cool because they decorate it to look like a dock from the sea. So you can see that there are fish flying in the air, people on docks on top of the chefs cooking the fish, and of course, lots of unique options. And we go right into the honey section next. This is a great example to show how many varieties you can get at a giant international market here because they have lots of infused honeys, jams, and butters. Next, we have the Asian part of the store where there are a bunch of different countries represented through snacks, candies, frozen goods. And this is a very popular part of the store because Americans really admire Asian foods and they love to shop here. Next, we're going into the soda and juice section, and it says King of Pop because they decided to celebrate Elvis Presley. And you can see there's lots of different sodas from South America here. Then there's some Asian wines, and then there's just some wild flavors that are made within the United States. Moving on, as you can see, this is an extension of the Asian section that goes into a couple other countries as well. And yes, that is a giant tree filled with treasure. They are really creative at decorating 
their store to make sure that their customers are engaged throughout the entire shopping experience, which is my favorite part about Jungle Gems. Here's an example of how Greek food, Scandinavian food, and Spanish food are given their own little decorative homes that are actually pantries that you can go in and shop for products. While the international market is very exciting, don't be fooled because the average grocery store in Cincinnati is really nice as well. This is a Kroger, which is the most common one here, and when you enter, you're greeted with a huge selection of beautiful flowers for the holidays. So here in comparison is what a bakery might look like at an average American supermarket versus the international market and here it's more focused on fresh baked breads and more common goods that you would use. So I'm buying a sourdough bread loaf and I'm putting it in this cool machine that we have that will actually cut your bread for you. Here we have a sales section where there's some foods that are a little bit less expensive than the rest of the foods in the stores and the international market did have this as well so that is very handy. And we also have a kosher food section now at our average markets which is nice because it gives more options. And here you can see Asian foods and Mexican foods are labeled as their own sections because in the United States our culture really likes taking foods from other cultures and just adopting them. So we will label countries sometimes in just a regular market. Lastly, something kind of cool that we have is a holiday section in all of our markets. I'm not sure if other countries do this, but whenever we have holidays that we celebrate like Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, we like to dedicate an entire section of where we buy our foods to the holiday to buy candy and decorations. And here I'm just using the self checkout to pay for all of the things that I purchased. One last thing that I thought was really cool is that if you get a Kroger card, it's a little card you put points on when you buy groceries and it helps you save some money on gas. And yes, the grocery stores have their very own gas stations. Thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun bringing you along with me and I hope you learned something new and saw how unique the shopping experience here in the United States can be. Bye.